Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we are continuing to march forward against our enemies in Finland and engage a number of Swedish armies. So without further ado, let's crack on. This is, It's this middle one that we need to be the most cautious of because they have a, a block, a solid block of marines um, at its core. But the rest of it, for the most part, is completely um, depleted. So we will advance up the field towards where they are entering the battle and we probably won't be able to completely surround them but we will be able to push up the board and or push up the map rather and uh, get some good control hopefully get to a point where we can just uh, drop lots of artillery on them as they enter enter the battlefield that'd be pretty awesome to see but let's see if the terrain works in our favor because we don't want them to we don't want to give them a load of time to enter the field and deploy and contest we want to try and bottle them up but why are you there it's more like it so yeah ideally if we can push up through these trees so take all my large infantry units we're going to deploy in line, but we are going to run forwards quickly. All my artillery is going to stay unlimbered. Skirmishes on the left. Split up. Cavalry. Okay, right. So... Although, actually, I might just blow my cavalry in quickly. My artillery may be better out on the right flank. In which case, let's wrap my light infantry around. So I'd like to push through past these trees and at least be sort of here. keep my cavalry not separate but just not run them towards the enemy like I planned because there's yeah their cavalry was running to try and uh, match me so if I can get through to here that'll be perfect You wrap up and deal with these demi cannons. Everyone drop into square, and that should deal with them for the most part. Excellent. You guys advance up the right. So they've broken. Hopefully the... You guys have broken. Unlimber. Form square. Excellent. The heavy horse. Oh, the horse. The cuirassier broken. Get them back out. And get out of square, push forward. Excellent, everyone can now engage the enemy as they advance. Positioning's okay. Could be could be better, but let's see if we can break more of these infantry units to maintain the keep tr always try and seek better position it's 
because we do want to try and move up the map. But when you knock out the, you're right, heavy horse artillery and limber. Push the Dragoons up first so they can... Just so they can fire. Press the uh, engage. No, don't try and engage them. Break, damn you, break. these units form square. If we can get that unit to break, which we have, perfect. My guerrilla mercenaries have not been deployed yet. Artillery engage the guard engineers. Okay, here come the marines. I'm kind of hoping that we deal with these pikemen rapidly. There we go, we have. Everyone else, carry on with your, your plans. Okay, so you're there. Where's my other cavalry unit? Okay, foot artillery's in position. Heavy horse howitzers, I might actually push up a bit. Other than that, though, we can begin to advance. Hopefully, they break. Come on, break, you swines. If not, I'll just push you up regardless. Advance right up into their face. Cavalry. Cool. Okay, now we're boxing them in. You guys halt and limber by a quick climb. You guys get out in front of the trees. Because that's when we can really start doing some damage. There's some enemy cavalry coming out. on the field and limber quick line oh here we go now they're starting to get upset oh it's so engaged that regiment of foot this unit go after the unit of engineers okay let's get these infantry out of square Form the map. Advance you. Advance these skirmisher units. Because, yeah, now we've got this. This entire. This entire army is now boxed in. Not a lot they can do. Yeah, kind of what I expected to see happen. Could have deployed stakes, but it's unfortunate they started raining because that really makes this a lot visually a lot less interesting. It looks like they have an artillery unit that is stuck on trying to enter the field, so. The mercenaries have taken a hammering, but the dragoons have done just fine. Okay, so now we have to bombard this 
artillery unit here. Or engage them with quick climb, maybe. But many, many, many enemy units fallen. And let's play some stakes. Because these guys are the most likely to be attacked by cavalry once it enters the field. It all depends on us killing that unit. Okay, there we go. Although no, no, no one else is coming in. That was it. Nice. Very nice indeed. I was thinking there'd be some behind it that got stuck, but maybe not. Either way, that was a good win for us. That did it. We did a huge amount of damage to their army and took not very much damage in return. A friend, Mersad. To be honest, we're probably at the stage where we can just attack attack the city regardless. So let's put you over here. You, Mr. Sabrino. Fairly sure they they the rest they all their other armies are quite yeah. Okay, so, so it looks like some of these marines didn't actually enter the fight unless we managed to make them break without actually doing damage to them um, but for the most part yeah this army well the garrison around Finland is going to be destroyed this turn then we can go after Stockholm so let's see how we get up god it is warm in the UK There we go. Right. We're going to see troops coming in from lots of directions. But it's going to be a fairly steady stream because they're going to retreat as we defeat them. Okay, I've secure the town. Spread my artillery out on the. F I mean, that's quite a good. Actually, yeah, let's put. Let's try to secure this hill. And then let's try and push through the right hand side of the town. Try to get all my artillery up on this hill. Push some troops forward. Secure it. Ah, I actually left a unit unlimbered. Probably did some damage to myself there, but I think but I think it's going to end up being okay in the long run. So I think we end up. Just hold here till we get the till we figure out what they're gonna do. No, I didn't want oh, misclick. Mount up, please. Get one unit over to help the general because he's definitely going to die. That's usually the way of things. Yep, 
Okay, there's the large, the large enemy formation. Okay, actually, let's push you guys off the hill ahead. Of the th yeah, I suppose technically, I want you guys to be here. And you guys to be here. Artillery's trawling up the hill. This is going to be quite the demanding position once we take it. Good for that horse artillery because they're an exposed and our cavalry can jump on it. if they like. Get the artillery unlimbered. We're just ganging up on a particular reinforcing army. Ah, Marines! Yeah, as soon as I saw the Marines, I thought, yep, that's the end of that. Get out of there. You're gonna minorly get caught out. Book it, get away from the marines, let these guys have a crack. No. Okay, try to do the same with the household cavalry. Get it to recover to safety. Staff doesn't really matter, we'll just get them out of the way. Remember the artillery, get the howitzers to shift back. Kill that enemy general. you new orders so why did you why did you stop new general to command this position Kyocera getting shot off with their horses General's bodyguard. What are you guys gonna do? Watch all your comrades die? 
sure looks that way. The general bodyguard. General is chief of staff. Chief of staff gone, it's just him. He's ridden through my lines. The gorilla gonna shoot him off his horse. Get him, militiamen. Oh, militiamen skirmishers. Quick line, the marines. We'll knock out the light. Have got the general. Who's back here? Your Sierra coming in. The Grilla Mercenaries. Here comes the heavy cav. What are you doing? You never break formation. You never break formation. Not that it matters because they've already run away. And a big bit of friendly fire there from shot. Let's pull the cavalry back. Get the howitzers to work on this flank. It looks like that, that is the last is the main concentration of forces. Shrapnel shot, fifth foot guards. Boom! Clip the back of this formation, hit the marines. Shrapnel, man. Dangerous. Quick claims no better. These, these poor souls have been sent here to die. Fifth have had enough militia. Yeah, they agree. It's a bad deal. This is all that remains. In which case, defensive line wheel. They, as they charge into the jaws of death. This block of marines we haven't had a chance to actually do damage to. Yeah, they're under fire. They're standing, they're standing well. Hey, with a third foot guard with trap shot. Excellent hits. Bit of a waver from the file of armed infantry, but the fusiliers just rattling off shots. Line infantry guards, the seventh regiment of foot, everyone's ready just to just to tear these guys a new one. Hey, look who it is! It's the artillery unit. It must have hidden itself. All the howitzers open up on the 4th. All my foot artillery open up on the 1st regiment. Lucky they missed. Yeah, they've, they're popping some... Parker shots off, good hit. They've suddenly gone, wait a minute, maybe this isn't as bad as we thought. And you go, oh no, it's, it's much worse. Come 
come right at us. We're not charging. Killed. I think that was the artillery unit. Oh no, it was the first regiment. Steady. Shaken. Yeah, they think they can attack the flank of our line and that makes us vulnerable. No, it does not. Fire your volley and run. I didn't even get to do that. Yeah, it really is why Howard's trying to dig these fellows out, because they're not in a position that, 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 uh, that really enable, allows super duper musket fire. Maybe we can pivot, we can do stuff. In which case, both the Howitzers go after the fourth. Because this infantry collectively will deal with the second. No trouble. These guys can't see because the house is in the way. Seventeenth, they're going to put a volley in. Yep. I don't think the time is right. Charge him in, cease all the artillery fire. They redeployed to receive cavalry as the second run behind them. Marines are solid in the infantry, but they're not supermen. Yep, that's the last of them. You're shooting down, it's shooting at someone who's running. Yep, that's not a lot they could have done about that. No point chasing them down. The capital will soon be under attack. Time ticks past. Yeah, we lost our general, but in, as a hero, he took the city of Finland. My orders. Prepare for battle. Excellent. And let's make one of the gunners the new general. Adolf Ferreira. 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 Kind of. It's probably more A-like, but whatever. We're not in Canada, right? So. I run you guys in and attack the city. You don't do a thing. I don't think they can really. You guys run in and also attack the city. The idea is this is the way to get into the, to get in and attack the city without triggering this guy intercepting us. Just make everyone attack. We run straight in. Then we pick. Who do we want to take the city with? I think it's got to be... You. Oh, you got a puckle gun there. I think it's going to be this chap. Joshua Figo. Joshua. Yeah, they're all going to come in as reinforcements, but that is fine. This is the last... This will be the last battle of the Swedish Empire. And then it's on to Saxony... Then it is on to another campaign, which, based on the vo the vote, will be uh, USA Round Two. I think the last time I played them was nearly ten years ago, and it w would have been before I had the additional units mod and all that kind of stuff. And playing on, well, yeah, I think the thing the chief difference is the lack of lack of additional units mod so i guess some more cool things for the americans and the armies will become i mean they're still good as the americans you get a good wide spread but yeah i think these will be more interesting across the board because it also adds lots of other units for your adversaries to use so we're going to stick on this side 
because we know the reinforcements are going to come in potentially from somewhere awkward and that is why we don't want our artillery to die until it's done its job and made some breaches at least so one breach assault company another breach assault company grenadiers hold the center gate flank company and another flank company cavalry way in the center to see what's going on same with the general open fire quick climb shot could go for center it might hit the house Oop, shells away that's some nice cavalry you got there be a shame if someone slowly, slowly brought about their destruction with chemical weapons. Let's speed up time while we make our breaches. We have no howitzers or defensive units, defensive range units like that to worry about, so we can just slowly... Oh god, that was a good hit. We can just slowly mop them up. There's a possibility the reinforcements come in from some really awkward position against us, but it's fine. We've got plenty of firepower. So we could, in theory, trap a bunch of people. But I think more realistically, we may be able to kill a bunch as they try and get off the ramp. No, they don't want to shoot at it. Okay, now they do. It's a bunch of cool units we could have got. But let's cooperate and try to see if we can destroy the wall. Good hit. The hit played out a clean line. Right across the defenders. Actually, the artillery... Quick blame. I mean, these guys may as well just keep working on the regular units. It looks like they don't actually want to run away, which is good, because it means that we'll be able to trap some on the wall. Although it might be this destruction of the wall itself now might trigger some logic. Oh, the next volley. Volley will do it. They're still firing quick climb in the, against the targets in the city. Shells away. Oh! Very well. Advance. Grenadiers in the centre. I know Fusiliers aren't necessarily the best flank companies, to, flank units to send in a flank company because they're not very good at. Actually, in which case, then I might bias my flanking efforts over here because you guys have troops up on the wall, whereas these guys, this this section's quite clear. case then you guys may actually come over here to help support this effort so let's everyone's currently walking I'm just gonna speed up time a little bit because everyone's just slowly advancing up to the wall artillery just drop shells all over the place here they may actually push out and try and stop us and occasionally some might bounce through the breach and do some damage 
They've placed stakes on the inside, which is smart, because the cavalry's just pushed up. So, traditionally, I will want pikes here. Units of infantry, like so. Grenadiers, like so. Get people... Get people running, because walking's too slow. So who have we got here? We've got Irish Brigade. They are technically... I mean, yeah, they can do... They can do fighting stuff. They're just not as good, is it? Not as good for it as regular infantry is. Good. Yeah, bounce straight through and got a bunch. There we go. They're starting to push out, but now my infantry's in position. Big mistake, bucko. Nope. They've broken. So you men secure here. The intention is to secure the wall. Put a cavalry unit here. I'll try and supplement it. Although I could put you in here. And then you guys run away. Yeah, they're going to try and climb out of the... I'm going to try and charge out of the gate, because we aren't going to take it fast enough, but this is why I have my pikemen here. As they charge out, stop us, the fools. There's actually an opportunity to use the pike wall formation. Usually you just, you don't really have to worry about it. The artillery comes slamming home. There we go. They're all ready. If you want to charge around this wall and go after the assaulters, you're going to run straight into that. As you men secure the wall. fire down into the center. Okay, these units are just going to form up ready to push through the gate. Yeah, the enemy is... they're in big trouble. Yeah, anyone that comes out of that gate Anyone that just tries to leave the fort in any way is in real big trouble. And then when these guys get into position, they will start knifing the centre, which is what I want. Which is what I want to do. I want to watch these guys knock out some of these Lahusars and the infantry in the center. Actually quick flying the armed citizenry. More charges. Excellent, you're all up. So take position on the fire step. They're beginning to engage, so make sure you need to start returning some fire. Excellent. Okay, the breach, this breach is now entirely unsecured. Let's get in here. Charge right out against us. 
these two units of infantry run through, take up firing positions, leave the cavalry where it is. And they're advancing. Soon the Irish Brigade will be in a position to shoot where they are shooting. Oh yes, uh, my guy is still shooting the bridge. Killed a bunch of my guys. Whoops. Everyone's forming up. You men get in the front, get into the command HQ as well. And just open fire on them in a very easygoing, coordinated manner. Don't mind us, nothing to see here, don't mind us. Infanteria present. Excellent. Oh, you're shooting at the infantry. There we go, a couple of shots are ringing out. Men get the garrison militia. They're just wreathed in flame. And it's beautiful. Kill their general. They've broken, shattered. First regiment of foot must give up soon. Yep. Just from sheer will. We managed to break the marauding. Oh yes, the, re the reinforcements. I forgot about them. An entire army of them. Okay, everyone get in. Everybody get inside. Artillery fire at will. Get in here, we got a fort to take. So we've still got reinforcements to come in. Two minutes. Unless they didn't want to come in. For whatever reason. Excellent. Well, then that is the Swedish capital captured. And Sweden goes bye-bye. So they hate us, unsurprisingly, but once we re repair everything, make it all look nice, and destroy the university, and look for any uh, religious happiness buildings they may have, we can, we can make sure we repair that happiness building that we kind of broke. Aha! College of Divinity, let's get rid of you. But there we go, that is the last of the... The last of the, uh, the Swedes, and now it's time to <laughs> execute Order 66. They can't tell me they didn't expect this. Are they, if they're not hostile to me, yeah, I was going to say they hate us, but we're allies. Cancel Alliance. I am instructed to inform you that our alliance has now ended. But, but I, I broke it, you fool. Protector of Poland and Lithuania. Oh, bless. Declare war. Because I'm afraid what we can do is jump on you from every possible angle. Just bring everyone in. And then... <laughs> Preslau and Silesia. I mean, I'm not being dumb. There's definitely those three. Those cities are their only cities. It looks pretty good. 
Okay, right. Let's fight and take Breslau first. Um, even though we're quite late in the episode, if I... No, no. I was going to say, if I, if I ended it... If I ended it now, it'd be a bit short. Okay, it, the next episode will be the final episode. It will be... No, eh, that still could be quite short. There might only be half an hour. We'll see how we get on. We see how we get on. It may well be this episode. Um, I don't know. It, it may be next episode. Well, you guys will know first. You guys will know before I know now, because I'm recording it now. When you see it, you'll know if I've made the decision or not, if I've called it the finale or not. Shoot our way in. Slaughter them all. Be aware of the fact that they have a lot of cavalry coming in to reinforce, so don't be... We're not going to be especially clever on our deployment. That's right. Get in there and help your friends. Once we get one breach, I expect I'm probably going to try. Well, start pushing, really. Although, realistically, I could start pushing now. Force them to make a decision. Do they run into the fort or do they run around it and try and help? Keep all the cavalry on the right side. That's where the enemy is. Okay, there we go. Saxon Regiment foot looks really tidy. I like them. General's bodyguard. Not so sure about the general's bodyguard. I mean, the regular line looks good. The you know, citizenry is just the same as everyone else. God damn mouse. Yeah, a lot of slaughter. So they're bringing in some good reserves, engineers, militia. Which looks okay. Oh, this looks like a special bunch coming up. There's Freikor. Yeah, there's a Freikor. More Freikor as well. Send some of my infantry. Scale the wall on the flank. You guys just open up on the infantry there. Try to do the same thing as we've done before. Losing our guards in quite a cheap way. Yeah, here they come. Bottom square. They really don't like it when you uh, when you attack the walls. Get a unit of company cavalry over here. Artillery keep firing round shot. Guardsmen just have at it. These guys just have to open up on the engineers to see if they can make them route. At the very least, they'll do a lot of good damage.
kill the enemy general. Okay, they want to be surrounded. Run some units in. Switch to round shot, bombard the 21st in the center. You men get involved in attacking the Saxon Regiment of Foot. Sipoi secure the, this gate, then we're going to run along and secure that gate. Engage the engineers. Cavalry advance out. Well, how is this gate not ours? you say that this gate does not belong to our empire? Yeah, this, is, this is a bit risky. Because a new man effectively run over and capture that gate. the breach. Get ready to push. These sepoys need to also help bite to attack the bridge. Okay, we've got that gate. Attack the cavalry. Get up here and mount, hold that position there. Where's my general? Make sure my general's up here. You guys cease fire. Well, let's see if we can just run you through. So you guys need to go secure that last gate. Then they've got no way in except for the original breaches. to try and just run men through. Oh god, you're actually outside the gates. If you don't get in and they shut the and they and they don't shut them, we're gonna be in trouble. And so it is going to shut the close the gates close the gate so because those guys ran in they're going to be able to get in nuts you run over here you run over here back the garrison line Cavalry withdraw. There we go. Get the timer ticking. Get some more guys off the wall to help. See, boys, keep packing the, the Saxon regiment. We can knock out these fellows. That would help tremendously. You men just get right up in the front. A general in here. See if we kill the last of the Saxons. General in here to keep everyone in good spirits. Charge the engineers, all of you. Nope, don't need my engineer in here. And I don't need my mortars firing either. My howitzer's firing. Do 
you're going to have to push in and attack them. Keep the timer... Keep the timer ticking. Okay, you maybe have to hit the militia in the back. That Saxon on the wall is still not dead. Okay, now he's dead. Excellent. The new men charge on against the Freikor. We're holding them off outside the gate. Our men are not... They're, the Saxons are better fighters in melee than we are, but we've managed to get troops uh, into the right positions. And we are able to hold them off, prevent them from restarting the timer. Everything's okay. Whew, they got close. These guys that were here could have caused, caused some problems, but there we go. City is taken. Come on, where's the end thingy? There it is. Whew, Silesia was taken. So now, yeah, I'm probably going to end the episode here. Then next turn, we're going to next episode, we'll take all out both of the remaining Saxon cities. Wrong. So just run them forward. Obviously Berlin's going to be last. So next, we're going to take this... Ah, oh, you've been here for ages, Roberto. We're going to take you. Interesting Grenadiers choices. We're going to take you and attack Dresden. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Saxon Empire. Cheers everyone.